In this video, we'll continue generating more random data for our request, making everything that's inside random so that it's different with every submission. And for that, we want to first have something like, in case you haven't added it, customer ID. And we're gonna use it here, customer ID. And we're gonna put a value. It really doesn't matter at this point. And for whatever reason, we want to have a different customer ID every time we submit this order. And we do not have an external endpoint, which gives us information as we had with the order ID, but we want to sort of uh, generate with each request a different value. And that can be accomplished in Postman pretty easy. And for that, I'll have to introduce a new concept here. And that is the pre-request script. And this pre-request script, as the name says, runs before the request happens. And we can write here a piece of JavaScript code which generates or does whatever it wants in order to get to a specific value. Then we can save it to a variable and inside the request as in the previous one with the order, we can just use that variable to pass the information from the pre-request script to the request that's actually sending the request. And I think for the beginners, setting a random customer ID is a good idea. So let's get started with that. Let's imagine that we have here constant customer ID. And we are gonna take advantage of some functions that are inside JavaScript by default. And one of them is math.random, which will generate a random number. So we're gonna multiply this number by 100 to get a larger number and make sure that we only get integers. And you don't have to worry about this code snippet, just copy it as it is, but trust me, this will generate a random number. And I'll show you in a second how it works. I will say here console log, and a log customer, customer ID, small mistake here. And now if you look at the console, you'll see that a number has been generated. In this case is AG3, and it will always be a number between one and 100. So if I try it again, it will be seven and so on. And for this purpose, this is enough to have that information. And the same principle as in the previous one, uh, we are gonna set a global variable. Let's call it customer ID. And I'm gonna use the variable that I defined here, customer ID. Gonna delete it, save it. So what will happen? The pre-request script will run, will save the customer ID variable, then the request will be executed. And we need to change something here. Say here, between double quotes. And we're gonna say here, customer ID. In this case, I do not need to put it in between double quotes because it is not a string, it is a number. So let's see if it worked. And indeed, you'll see here, customer ID is 21. Let's submit it again. Customer ID is two. Customer ID is 88. So you will see here that it gets randomized every time I change something. Now you can theoretically apply the same principle and make random information anywhere that you want. So for example, you could randomize this array of products. You can randomize the quantity or anything else. There is also the possibility in Postman of using a random variable. And this is something that's built in, in Postman. And this will generate a random ID as well. So random int will generate a random ID. Let's have a look at it. And it did here, you see quantity 25. Okay, that looks good. Let's write it again. Quantity 251, okay, that's great. You don't have really much control of what's happening with this one, so it's good to generate your own test data. But if you really don't care, you just want some randomness, you can use that as well. Now you can use it to create here random data for both products if you want to. And 
In this case, you will see here that the product ID stays the same, but the quantity changes all the time. You will get a value from one to 1000. And if this works for you, that's pretty fine. If it doesn't, well, that's something else. But this is the basic principle on how you can generate some dynamic data in your request. You can just use a pre-request script, generate the random data there, and then inside the body, use the global variables that have been sent in the pre-request script. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will highly appreciate if you can click right here on the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, there's so much more to learn about Postman and in this series, we basically just scratched the surface, but hopefully gave you enough information in order to use Postman in your own projects. So if you want to master Postman, API testing, workflows, continuous integration, and much more, make sure you check my Postman online course. I'll be posting a link with a huge discount in the section below. If you have any questions or need any help, I'm there for you. So get in touch with me by leaving a comment in the section below. See you next time. Bye bye. And just click here to continue with the next video and subscribe right here below. Come on, don't keep me waiting. Click subscribe and then continue with the next video.